right, you guys, I'm going to walk you through just setting up the beginning of your project. So really, we're going to talk about creating it and setting up the basic movement. So here are the instructions. You can find these on the daily lesson plan and on Canvas. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to Snap, and I'm going to create a totally new project, okay? So first thing first, I'm going to log in so I can save all of my work. Okay, I'm nice and logged in. I could create a new project. I'm already on one, so I'm being redundant here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is set up my first sprite, which is named Sprite. That's gonna be Mario, so I'm gonna give it a name. Okay, I'm also gonna want some enemies, so I'm gonna create another one. I'm gonna call this one a uh, Goomba. That's the enemy in Mario, okay? So now I've got Mario and Goomba. They don't look like anything yet because I need to get some costumes. Okay, then... Uh, I'm gonna make some background stuff. So maybe there's gonna be, I don't know, like a cloud, okay? Uh, maybe there's gonna be, I don't know, a tree or a mountain. Let's do a, a oh no, a pipe. Let's do a pipe in the background. Um, and then I'll put something in the background. So maybe for the background, what I'll do is just draw it. I'll go to backgrounds. I'll click the paintbrush here under costume. So I clicked on the stage and I'm just gonna draw and I'm gonna say here's, a blue sky, let's do it lighter. So here's my blue sky, and I'll just do a bucket to fill the whole screen. And then we'll do, I don't know, like a green, something like that, and I'll do a rectangle. Now the hard part is getting it all the way to the edge, but um, I'll just do as best I can. So there's, uh, if I want, I can grab a circle and like kind of fill that edge um, like that as best I can on the left, whoops. Let's undo that. I went a little too high. Um, all right. So there we go. There's my um, background that I made. And if you want, you could say, like, maybe there's some pixels on the edge you don't like. What you could do for the scripts is um, you could always try and stretch the costume a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so I've got a stage. I need some sprites now. So one place you could get them is under the Mario project. You could click on this resource images. Or on the lesson plan, I put a bunch of useful links here and you can click on this resource folder. Okay, I'm gonna go from the instructions, I'm gonna click on this, and here's just a bunch of images you can use, okay? I wanna be able to see what they look like, so I'm gonna click on this, um, just changes it from list view to uh, viewing the pictures. Oh, so here's two different pipes. Um, let's go with the first one here. So I'm gonna right click and download it. Um, I can choose any of these Mario sprites. So I'm going to use this Mario sprite. Okay, so let's download that. And then I could choose any Goomba. I'm going to choose, or any bad guy, which could be a turtle. Uh, it could be this guy throwing things. I'm going to choose the Goomba because I already named it Goomba. Um, I wanted a cloud. So I'm going to choose uh, some clouds here. Those are transparent. So I'm actually going to choose this one that's white. Okay, so let's download that. And there we go. Those are all the sprites I need. So over here, I'm going to click on Mario. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to import a file. Okay, and once I, while I'm selecting it, if I go and import the Mario sprites, there we go. There are the costumes. Now it's too big and we'll change it. I'm going to go to Goomba, File, Import, and I'm going to get my Goombas. I'm going to go to Cloud and I'm gonna file import, and I want my cloud. And then I'm gonna to go to pipe, and I'm going to file import the pipe. Okay, so the sizes are all wrong here. So the first thing I can do is rather than right-clicking and edit and using the shrink, which makes it really fuzzy, and I don't like that look, I'm not gonna do any shrinking and growing using the sprite editor. Look at how blurry that is, and the more I shrink and grow, the crazier blurry it gets until it's just like unrecognizable. So I'm gonna cancel. Instead, I'm gonna leave the original costume. And then what I'm gonna do is say right at the beginning of every program, I'm gonna make sure to set the size to whatever I need. So maybe this one, uh, let's go with 25%. That looks perfect, okay? If you want it different, you could say like 20% or something. So there's my sprite. Okay, I'm going to get its position at the start to where I want. So I want it over here. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, now let's line it up a little bit more like that. Perfect. 
Now, I don't know what position it is, so I'm going to show it right now. So it's at x is 196, and its y is at negative 59. So now I position the sprite correctly, and now even if I move it, when I start the program, it goes right there, which is what I wanted, okay? All right, now what I want to do is put the cloud somewhere. So I'm going to go to the cloud, and I'm going to use the same um, code, so I'm going to drop it on the cloud, okay? But now the cloud, I want more up here, and I want it smaller. So I'm going to click on it. Um, whoops, that was the pipe. I'm going to click on it for the cloud, and so it's small in there. Now that's actually a pretty good size. Maybe I'll do more like 25%, uh, and I'll put it like, maybe it's partially out of the screen, or maybe it's like right there. And so I'm going to go to the pipe and hide its XY position. And now for the cloud, I'm going to say, where is that cloud? 83 X and 131 Y. So I can place it wherever I want. And now I have a cloud that looks good. Now what I want is I'm going to right click and duplicate this. And I'm going to name the first one cloud one. And I'm going to name this one. I'm going to reorder these. I'm going to name this one cloud two. I don't like the parentheses in the name. So I'm just going to put a cloud two there. And this one will just have a different starting position. So I'm going to go to that first cloud and hide its XY. And then this one I'll say maybe like here and I'll make it smaller. So let's do 15 and let's check its X and Y. And that's at negative 39 and 85. Okay, so I've got my clouds in the right position. Now what I'm going to do right now just for a second is I'm going to go, I want to hide this other sprite and I'm going to put that same thing on Mario. I just want to get him out of the way for a second. So I'm going to click on these two and hide it. So now when I start the game, look at that setup. Oh, it looks great. I'm going to go to see it says cloud two's X position. I'm going to click on cloud two motion and I'm going to hide those. Okay. So now I've got a good setup. Maybe that second cloud is a little too small. Let's go to a uh, 20%. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Now you could do a couple things with these uh, cloud motions, but for now, I'm just going to leave them there. Okay. I'm going to just work on the main character's motion right now. So I'm going to get rid of this hide. And since I changed it once, I'm going to leave a show in here. Now, I don't want Mario to go behind this pipe as he's running, or if I jump, I don't want to go behind a cloud. So I am going to say, go to the front layer. And that means Mario will never go behind anything else. So if I click this, there's Mario. Now notice if I say go to the back layer, Mario is now behind the pipe and the cloud. So I want my front care, or I want my main character to always be in the front. So there we go. So all I'm going to do right now is some basic motion. I've got the basic setup. All right. So I'm going to create two separate loops and I'm going to edit the costumes. The basic idea is I will have one loop for costumes and or uh, let's say for changing costumes aka animation all right and then I'll have another one so I'll just right click this and I'll duplicate I'll put it over here and I'll say a loop for um, moving left and right okay so I don't need this show and go to front layer. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a forever um, under both. In this one, right now, I'm going to start with just go to next costume and wait a fraction of a second. Now, right now, that's going to just have him moving at all times, which is not what I want. But for now, that's OK. And then over here, I'm going to just say if and I go to sensing. If someone presses the right arrow, then go ahead and move left and right, not set, then change the X position by some speed. I don't know. Let's go with six for now. And I'm going to duplicate that and say, and if somebody presses the left arrow, let's change by negative six. Okay. Now, before I really see that happening, I need to clean up these costumes. So I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to duplicate this. Um, a couple times because there's five different costumes. So I want five different. So the first one is the left one, most one. That's the idol. So I'm going to rename this and go Mario Idol. Like he's just standing there. Okay. So I'm going to edit it and I'm going to use a box that is transparent 
and I'm going to block out all the other sprites. Now, the thing to be careful of is people often leave these extra pixels on the left. So I'm erasing these and those extra pixels will ruin your um, collision detection. Like these will hit a Goomba and your character will die. And you'll be like, what? I was so far away. So I'm going to do a transparent rectangle a couple times. Okay. And then I'm going to even use a transparent circle and really try and make sure I got all of those extra pixels. Then the last thing is make sure to set the center of your character. I'm going to do it to like kind of where his belt would be, um, but in the middle of his body. Okay. And if you do it right, oh, it didn't center. So that means there is usually a stray pixel. I can't really see it as I move around, but let's try and uh, edit it one more time. And we'll do the transparent. I'll do a square first. Whoops. Um, just to try and get rid of every single pixel. I'm going to go really slow to the edge. I'm even going to use the circle again. Transparent circles. Okay. And let's try it again. Um, and it didn't reset. That's a little funky. And so I'm going to do, here's a Mario run one. And then I'm going to do the same thing, Mario run two and so on. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to go square that's transparent and I'm going to get rid of all of these. Okay. And I'm only going to leave the one sprite that I'm using. Okay. Again, I'll do transparent circles on the edge to really try and get rid of all the extra pixels. Okay. Just to make sure. And I'll do the same thing over here to get rid of all the extra pixels. Okay. Now set my center to be the center of the body right there. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing over and over. So I'm going to pause this video and finish, okay? Okay, so what I've done here is I played around with these and I've edited these. And I decided I'm not going to keep the last one. I don't need it. It's so similar. When I edit, it's so similar to the middle one. I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then this last one, I'm going to rename it. I'm not going to use this as a run. I'm going to use this as the jump. Right. And if I want to, I can use that. If not, I can just delete it. OK, so I've got a Mario idle and a run one and a run two. And I could even delete that and I could just say idle run, idle run. There's Mario walking. And if he jumps, I could switch to that costume. OK, now, if I even wanted to, I could get rid of that for now and do the entire game with these two. This is like an additional feature. So let's even make it easier for now and delete this. And maybe later on we can add back in a drawing for jump. OK, so at the beginning of the game, since I'm changing costumes, I'm going to say switch costume to the one I want to start at Mario Idol. Now, right now, when I press start, he's just running forever. That looks pretty good, but I only want to run when you press a button. So what I'm going to do is take one of these if I press. Now I could do this and do like if I press the right arrow, animate. If I press the left arrow, animate. But there's no point in doing the same code twice. So instead, let's get rid of that and put these together in one if statement. So let's put in or and we'll say if I'm pressing the left arrow or the right arrow, then go ahead and animate. So right now, it starts idle if I press the right or left arrow animated. This looks great already. OK, so I'm going to do a couple small things. Mario's looking a little too big, so I'm going to set the size to, I don't know, 50 percent. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good about related with the pipe. I'm going to put him uh, right here. I think that's a good starting spot or maybe even like right here. I'm going to check his X and Y position, so I'm going to go to motion. X and Y. I'm going to say so at the beginning of the game, I want Mario to go to negative 184 and whoops, negative 69. OK, now I can hide those. That was just a way to check where he was. Now at the beginning of the game, no matter where I put him, he starts there. And when I press right, he goes right and left. Now you notice a couple things. One, he might stop with his legs like that. I don't want that. So if I'm pressing left or right, go to next costume and relabel lets you switch between versions of if I'm going to switch it to if else and say, if I'm not moving, let's go ahead and switch costume to the idle. And so now 
if I'm moving, he's moving, if I let go, it always goes back to that idle. That's a nice, easy way to do that. Now for the left and right, a couple things. One, I can go out of the screen. We don't want that. And two, I, um, I had something in my head. Oh, I'm never facing left. Okay, so let's just change those last two things and that's gonna be where we wrap up this video. So first things first, we wanna just face in direction. So let's just say when I press right, face right. When I press left, face left. That's easy, so let's start. Uh-oh, when I face left, he does this crazy 180 degree rotation because facing left is turning an arrow 180 degrees to face left. So up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this to only face left and right. So now instead of my sprite rotating, I will just flip left and right. So now I can run and stop. This is great, okay, we're almost done. Last thing is, if we don't wanna be able to go out of the screen, a couple things you could do is just throw an if on edge bounce. It's a little sloppy um, because it will like bounce funky. Oh, I was the wrong side. See how, oh, and this is a problem because I've got that stray pixel I was mentioning. See, now it detects hitting the stray pixel right there. So I'm hitting a stray pixel and bouncing off. So I'm gonna have to go back and edit my costume. And if you edit it correctly, Mario should get bigger and more in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna say instead of if on edge bounce, what I'm gonna say is you can move left or right as long as you're in the correct X region. So I'm gonna say uh, always face the right direction but only do the moving if I'm able to move. And so the if I'm able to move, I use X position, okay? Because we're only worried about left and right. So I'm gonna go to motion, drag in the X position variable, and say if I'm less than some number, like, I don't know, 220, then I can keep going to the right. So now, oh, that's pretty good. Maybe that's too close, his nose is in the corner. You'd be like, what about 215? Let's try it. And now, there we go, that looks better to me. So I'm just gonna duplicate that and put it down here. So I'll say if, and this is negative, so I'm going left. So if the exposition is in the screen, which would be relabel, if it's bigger than negative 215. So that's just saying, if I'm over here, I can move left. But if I'm out here in the negative 300s, 400s, then you can't move left, you've gone too far. And so now I can move to the edge of the screen on both sides of my main character. Okay, last thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to jump. Now, if I put it here like this, and I go, okay, well, if I press, I don't know, up arrow, or um, I like the space button. So if I press the space button, we'll just do a really simple jump, like uh, repeatedly go up. Now, if I go up in one step, you can't even see it, it's so fast. So I'll just do something like go up, and then go down, but this is 10 steps up of 10 each, so it's 100 pixels, and 10 steps down, so it looks like, oh, I did change X, silly me, let's relabel to change Y, relabel to change Y, there we go, that was a silly sideways jump, so there's my jump for now, and you can absolutely be like, I want it a little slower and a little more, so let's do 15 and 7, I'm just like making up numbers here, that's, more that's 105 so it's a little higher but it's slower oh that's a little bit better maybe this one a little more like uh i don't know just make up numbers that that work for you but the problem here is if i run and then jump i only jump straight up because pressing the space key traps us in this repeat and the left and right don't get called until all 30 repeats are done and we loop back around so instead what we do is we duplicate this and we make this is a loop for jumping. And you could say separating this from the left right motion means both can happen at the same time, okay? All right, so now I can get rid of this and just put the jump in there. And now there's no jump here. So now I've got left and right motion. Mario can jump. I could change direction in there. So I could be jumping left and then go back to the right. Okay, there's your basic motion. I hope you enjoyed the, the video of the basic setup of Mario. When we come back, I'll set up um, another character.